Are you wondering what happens when your Smartsheet trial expires? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because I'm gonna be showing you exactly what is gonna happen when your 30-day free trial period is up. So as you'll see here, I've opened up one of my accounts that was a free trial and it has literally expired. So when you sign in, so to get to this screen, all I've done is I've signed in. And when you do that after your 30 days, you are gonna be greeted with this particular screen. So you're gonna have a message that pops up and it's basically explains the situation. You know, your trial is expired and you're gonna to need to upgrade to a paid plan to maintain the ability to create sheets. And as it says here, you can continue to use sheets that have been shared with you. So you naturally probably have a lot of different questions about what you can and can't do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you your options. So the first thing is I'm gonna put no thanks. So what we have here essentially is my regular account. So as it did mention, I can still view sheets and I can still do things in the system um, just on a limited capacity. So here's a couple of different sheets that I created previously, as you can see, last I updated a little while ago. So what you can do is you can view, edit and update sheets and reports that have already been set up. So as I say, these are ones that I've already created. Um, so every time, by the way, you start moving around in the system, you're gonna get this notification and you can keep closing it, but it is gonna keep popping up. So just do bear that in mind. It might even get a little bit annoying after a while. Um, so I'm gonna close it off. Um, so here's just a, as you can see, a complete dummy data sheet, but I can go in here and I can edit it. So, you know, let's say someone else in your organization still has a license, then I can still come in as a free contributor or collaborator and I can start editing it. One thing that will happen though, is I won't be able to you know, I no longer will own this sheet in the sense of, you know, what I can do within it. So, you know, I can't start manipulating things. Um, you know, I can't insert columns. I, I can't really do much. You'll see most of this is blocked out. So I've, I've kind of gone from a, an owner of the sheet to a viewer. And that's how you kind of have to understand and imagine what will happen. So, you know, it, a lot has to do with how your organisation set up. If you have other other people with licences, then maybe you can transfer, you know, it will transfer over to them and they can kind of pick up that responsibility. Otherwise, if you're a kind of a standalone user, you're going to really find that you're quite limited. Um, as I say, I can't create any more sheets, you know, um, or it might let me actually, no. So I tried to create a sheet there and as you'll see here, I need to upgrade to be, upgrade to be able to do that. So I'm very, very limited. So imagine... Anything you created while you're on a free trial and anything before is all available to you. You just can't really do much going forward. So really, if you want to, if you ever wanted not to have a free trial when you wanted to, you know, be a free user, you're either going to need somebody else to have the license and do everything for you on your behalf from an admin perspective, or you're going to need to set up everything well ahead of time. Um, so really your options are, you, you know, you've, you're probably going to need to upgrade. Um, so when it comes to upgrading, what, what, you know, why would you do that? Well, you get access to the whole platform essentially. So everything that you could do on your free trial, you're going to be able to do. So that does include that, you know, creating those, um, new sheets and columns and, and, and editing sheets, um, as you kind of see fit, you can administer the different, um, projects and tasks, you know, you can have workspaces and, and all those kind of things. Uh, and you can really drive a project and program, you know, you can be an owner of a sheet, you can start collaborating with other users and inviting other people. You know, you're, you're the admin of, of all your sheets as well. And so really you can drive a project or a program. Um, so you're gonna probably want to upgrade once your free trial is up. And to do that, you'll see, you, we, we've had the messages throughout um, as I've just been browsing, um, you know, open up a sheet and I've got this here. So you could click that blue button there or at the top here. And if you click it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show you some of the, really what I've just explained here. And if you click request license, it's gonna take you through to your billing options where you've got the different price points. So um, as you'll see, I'm, you probably noticed by my accent, I'm in the UK. So this has obviously been tailored to my local currency. Um, and, and, and you've got the different options here. Of course, this is for kind of individual users. Here, you've almost got the business. Um, so if you wanted multiple users and then you've got enterprise, which is a, a kind of custom price and, a, and you need to contact them to get your kind of quote. So that's really, um, you know, what you can do in Smartsheet without a license is obviously quite limited. And for the most part, you're probably gonna need to upgrade. But I hope this video is useful. 
If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this and do consider heading over to my channel and looking at my other smart sheet training videos and do consider subscribing while you're there. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.